Over the years, there's been a great many carry-on books published. There's been a great many documentaries, great many programs made about the carry-ons. Um, none of them have quite given me what I want to read in a book. Um, I'm the kind of person who takes my passion for these films maybe a little bit too far. I want to know exactly where they were filmed. I want to know exactly how I can go and find out where they were filmed. Um, I want to know where all the bloopers and the, and the, the cock-ups and the gaffs in the films are, because there are plenty in the films if you know where to look for them. Um, but not from a cynical, nitpicking point of view, to, to really bring the films alive and to enable the community of Carry On fans that have grown up over the years on the internet to, to find another way of, of, of celebrating these, these, these wonderful pictures. The Carry On films are such a part of English culture. Um, there's not a, a single person I know who doesn't have some kind of understanding of what the films are about, who doesn't um, know what Umaitra means or what Kenneth Williams looks like or Hattie Jakes and her matron persona. Um, the carry-on films are something that are ingrained into British culture. They're ingrained into, into everybody um, who lives in this country. Um, you can't turn the TV on without seeing a carry-on at least once a day. Um, they're everywhere. I really grew up with the carry-on films. They were, they were such a part of my childhood when I was growing up. Um, my parents, obviously, I used to watch the, watch the carry-on films with my parents, with my grandparents. And now that I've got children of my own, my own children sit and watch the films quite happily with me. It, it's something which spans generations. It's something which appeals to everybody at some level. Uh, there's slapstick humour in there for the kids. There's uh, source and innuendo for, for the adults. Um, there's, there's something in the carry-on films that can be enjoyed at every level. Back in the, in the early 1990s, it seemed to me a good idea to create a website about something I was interested in. Some kind of website talking about the films and why they were important to me. Uh, that was back in 1994, uh, the website's still going. It's, it's taken on a life of its own over the years. Um, we get it's in the region of 10,000 visitors a week even now. Um, in the late 90s when there was talk of, of a new carry-on film being made, uh, we would get 100,000, 200,000 visitors a week. There have been a number of different books about the carry-on films, but none of them have gone quite down to the level of detail in terms of the niggly little bits of useless trivia that keep proper fans discussing these films over and over again on web forums and down the pub with your mates. We've got timings for every blooper and gaff that, that I and, and the community of carry-on fans via carryonline.com and thewhippitin.com um, have found over the years. These films have been gone through with a fine tooth comb by myself and a number of other people to look out for all the bloopers that you might not have spotted, to look out for all the little bits of trivia that connect one film to another, uh, to look out for the locations that are used in every single film. Um, and then we've gone a step further and actually provided links and, and QR links that you can scan with your phone, which will sat nav you right to where the location is. Carry On Confidential takes Passion for the carry-ons to a whole new level. It, it's it's a, a proper watcher's guide to the films, designed to be with you while you're watching a carry-on, pointing out bits that you might not have spotted elsewhere, telling you where the films were made, telling you about all the wonderful collectibles that came out along with each of the films, telling you what they were called overseas. It's a complete guide to all of the people who made the films, the films themselves and what happened behind the scenes. It really has something for even the most seasoned carry-on fans, and I hope um, that anyone who reads it will see that there's, there's something different and new here.